All right, let's look at this set. This is something I'm really interested in. This was the only person to beat Leo in a set, and he did it 2-0. So, can okay, I rank 19? We'll see. Some people say that this is one of the few matchups that uh, Leo's actually not that good in. Which is kind of funny, considering that Plup lives close to him. But maybe they don't play. Or they should. He has an easy way to get practice for his Mega Man. Yeah, Kamehameha is so good, dude. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of Japanese players ended up... Um, they ended up eliminating themselves because they were seeded really badly. So despite a lot of the Japanese players making upsets, it didn't matter. If Kamehameha was seeded good and he beat Leo, then he would have already been top 8 winners. Instead, he needed to play against uh, Gluttony and... Leo, just to make top 8 winners. He's so good at like faking when he has the Metal Blade. See, this is what I like. Okay, so... When I, when I say that people play badly against Arsene... Show... Like, see here how he plays against Arsene. So he gets Arsene here. Runs away a little bit. Recovers. Hangs out. Wastes a little bit more time there. You don't always want to do this, but this is a good go-to. Runs away. Takes a side B. Doesn't panic. Fights a little bit, starts going away here. This is a very, very important play that a lot of people don't do versus Joker. So he starts going away here. And looks like, shit, he's gonna camp me. So what does Leo do? Side B. Perfectly baited out. This is something you legitimately did not see people do later in bracket. Bait out side B. Because side B is very punishable if you full jump over it. Or if you run under it. IBMK, hey, thanks so much. And then here, instead of taking the bait and trying to force every interaction, he realizes that if he waits out the time, it's in his favor. So right here, a lot of people would be like, oh shit, Leo, he has Arsene, I need to hit him. I need for Arsene to go away earlier. But he waits out and then he doesn't force an interaction instantly here. So, so Leo can jump over him like this. He waits, he jumps back a little bit, gives him a little bit more space, waits. Jumps back again, jumps back. Now he interacts a little bit. And see, by the time he loses the interaction, it's already gone. Our sense already off. That's what people need to do more. It's not like straight running away, but like focus on holding your space. Attack when he has our sense as a mix up, not as you go to. And this is a, this is a big brain combos too. That was a big brain counter by Leo. Look at this. Nicely played. Yeah, and as soon as Arsene isn't out, what does he do? Arsene is playing a l I mean, not Arsene. Kamehameha is playing a ton more active now until Arsene comes out. Gets Arsene. He still has pressure, so he keeps up. Keeps it up. Attacks. Yeah, hold shield because he knows he can't get grabbed here. Leo can't really land. And even if he does get hit, he wastes more of Arsene at that point. Yeah, ends up dying, but now Arsene is already out and Leo's at 80. So now he can go down from the spawn platform with full invisibility. How could Leo counter this? Uh, it's really hard. There's mix ups, but. Basically, Leo can counter it, but his risk reward is just straight up worse than if they, the opponent keeps attacking. The main problem is that you can get predictable if you always defend, but Kamem is good about mixing it up every now and then. And there's still plenty of mix-ups you can do while not uh, rushing in and risking everything. That's a really good read. Who thinks he's going to do this? Yeah, it's not like Mega Man has great out of shield options. He's not that good at keeping out Arsene compared to other characters. Like, not better than Ivysaur or Peach or Duck Hunt or Wario. Like, maybe Wario, but even even so, there's a lot of characters that can keep out Arsene. Leo says that himself. That's a really big kill. This is a, like, the big confirms also need to be avoided more. This is honestly just a really bad roll. 
Like, look at this roll here. He gets the downer hit. Even though he's plus, he rolls and dies for it. Not DIing the down downer also helps. See what he does? He waits Arsene out. Yeah, he like he gets hit by Sybe here. It's a good read by Leo. I don't know why the fuck that upper was. It was just a stupid mistake, probably. But the Sybe itself does not do that much, especially when you're low percent. The main problem is people get hit by grab combos when they're at low percent versus Arsene, which gives like 50 damage. And like he he still maintained like uh, he contained the damage essentially. He got hit a bunch of times, but. Now, Leo still has to kill him with Norasen. And Leo really only kills with backer off stage or fair one mid stage. For like 90% of his kills come from those two options. Yeah. He also goes for the F smash sometime, and that is a big risk. Yeah, people were really bad at avoiding fair one and punishing it. It's pretty predictable if you once you learn to look for it. Layer's amazing at using though. So you will see it land sometimes, but I don't even remember the last time I saw Leia get punished for trying to go for fair one. Nice good rush in by Leo. So sad that this is the best of three though. So see see how he plays this he's playing it so much smarter. You can see that Leo is used for to see people just rush in against them. Lace is waiting here, and Kevin's like, yeah, fine. I'm not gonna stress it. Choose a few projectiles to show that he's willing to stay, and then he goes in. It's important to realize that you will not win every interaction against Joker, but minimizing the interactions you lose, and how many of those interactions there are, uh, is huge against Arsene. He legitimately does like double the reward whenever it's Arsene. Yeah, good edge guard. Also something a lot of people are bad at, realizing how to edge guard Joker. Joker is very edge guardable. That's very good, a very good read too. Yeah, Leia going for a lot of ledge jump this tournament as well. Commander ready. Nice, and when you have advantage versus Hosen, you need to keep it. Pretty bad there to get it by Sybe. That's, Leo always side feeds. People staying on stage. Yeah, and wait out Arsene. You don't have to wait the full time, but you should waste a decent amount at least. Yeah, he screwed up there because he so he went for the two options. See? Double grab. You should only against Arsene, I think it's better to go for one grab and then try to play safe. So he gets grabbed here, but Leo drops the combo. That so works out. That's confirmed from the metal blade. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, grab and like start shooting projectiles would have been a better play than grab grab. Yeah, like people get hit by this fair so much. It really is what Leo goes for so much at high percentage. And all these side Bs are completely reactable. Like you can air dodge these on reaction. As long as you're ready for the fact that they're gonna come. Yeah, again, Leia is amazing at getting those fair ones, but still, you need to realize that's what he's looking for. And versus Joker when he's off stage, like you need to full jump or shield by the edge. Like this is such a big deal to get hit by. It does like 20 damage, and he gets back safer. There he actually fell out of it, but still, he still got 20 damage. Yeah, that second side B was kind of hard to avoid, but this one should, could have been air, air dodge on reaction and got on the edge for free. Yeah, see, looking for fair one. Ooh, that could have been up tilt. Looking for fair one. I was, uh, that's a really good. He he had it. He held the metal blade and he drops it in backers. 
Yeah, I think it was partly Mega Man, but I think the main thing was just that Kamehame played very, very solid. Leo didn't play his absolute best, missed a couple uh, key moments. But still, Kamehame showed off that waiting and playing solid against Arsene, not trying to do too much, not getting ahead of yourself, really paid off.